What's going on guys? Chad here with Greenlight Shooting. Welcome back to another video. Today we're talking Taurus, baby. So Taurus just released this. I don't know when this video is coming out, either probably today when you're watching it or maybe yesterday if it comes out tomorrow. But Taurus just released their very first ever micro compact pistol. So micro compacts have been a thing for a while now, man. A lot of the other companies are starting to, you know, throw their, their hat in the ring. And Taurus said, you know what? Let us jump in that game too. So here we go with the GX4. I was lucky enough to get my hands on this gun a little bit early, but I haven't had a ton of time with it. I had one day at the range with it, you know, a couple hundred rounds. So this is more of sort of my first impressions with it, things like that. I don't want to speak too much about it because uh, I don't have a ton of experience with it. That being said, I have shot it. I do have it in my hands and I can give you sort of my first thoughts on it. So we open this thing up and uh, here it is, man, the Taurus GX4 size wise, ergonomics wise, aesthetic wise, the thing looks beautiful. I'm not gonna lie to you, the thing looks fantastic. It looks like a really ready to go EDC, something that's built specifically for that. You can see there are rounded corners throughout so you're not catching any, you know, clothing on anything like that. It's got a one inch wide frame. Sights here are all rounded. We've got a fixed white dot front sight and then we've got just a blacked out rear sight with some, some adjustability on the drift there. But again, everything is just meant for the most efficient concealed carry experience possible. So starting off with capacity, we have got two flush magazines, both holding 11 rounds. So you're getting 11 plus one out of a gun this small. That's a pretty big deal. Uh, we've got a single action only striker fired system. Barrel length is coming in at 3.06 inches. So obviously you do have adjustable back straps there as well. Overall height, you're looking at 4.4 inches. Overall width, 1.08 inches. And weight, we're at 18.5 ounces. The slide is made of steel alloy and the frame and barrel are both stainless steel. We're chambered in nine millimeter. As far as safeties, we've got a visual loaded chamber indicator, a striker block, and a trigger safety. For the slide finish, we've got a gas nitride coating. The frame finish is matte stainless and the barrel finish is satin black DLC coating. They've also got a flat face serrated trigger, which we'll talk about more here in just a second. It says it's got a magazine and grip cuts to aid in magazine stripping if required. We've got a reversible magazine release button, so this thing can be ambidextrous. So this thing says it's got a really simple takedown mechanism right here, a little takedown pin. Uh, so I'm gonna remove this, obviously making sure that we are clear. And uh, I'm gonna rotate that pin a quarter of a turn. Boom, wow, that's pretty incredible actually. Um, no, you know, racking the slide back, locking anything like that. I'm kind of a fan of that, check that out. Um, okay, and so super, super easy to take down, obviously super easy to maintain. Um, and then you can see right here is that little three inch barrel. So you've got barrel, you've got spring, slide and frame. Super simple, love it. Slide the slide back on and that takedown pin reverts to its original position, locks that slide in place. Very cool. Okay, so now that we know a little bit more about the uh, you know objective stuff on this gun, let's talk a little bit more about my personal take on the thing. So number one, as I mentioned, I think it's a very, very good looking gun. Um, it looks very sleek, it looks very streamlined. The ergonomics fit my hand well. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I would have loved to have like a pinky grip extension mag or something like that. That maybe that's something they're looking for in the future, I don't know. Uh, at this point, I am having to wrap my pinky sort of underneath the magazine and then both hands over like that. Um, so. It's not the end of the world, it's just something that I've gotten used to shooting with and uh, I hope that that's something that they maybe offer in the future. Not a deal breaker by any means though. Um, the other thing I've noticed is, is there's no rail here. Now that being said, most of the time on a gun this small, you're not gonna run any accessories, but I do know some companies that have accessories for micro compact frames, so it just, it would be nice if uh, you had the ability to. Again, not a deal breaker, just one of the things that I am noticing. Now that's really probably the only downsides 
sides I'm seeing on this thing at first glance. Other than that, everything is super, super high quality. I think it's sleek, I think it's stylish, I think it's ergonomic. I love how everything is purpose built for concealed carry. Obviously we're in that micro compact world and that's what's designed for. Uh, you know, that lack of an extended magazine is really gonna help with printing. Over here is where I always find myself printing, but that flush mag is really a very efficient way to stay concealed. The other thing is the width here being only about an inch wide, obviously really helps out with that concealed carry, all these rounded edges I mentioned earlier. The trigger actually feels fantastic for a micro compact gun. So without getting too technical or, or you know scientific into the pull weight or anything like that, I'll tell you how it feels. It's got a very, very solid wall you're pulling that slack up to. And then after that wall, you've got maybe a little bit of creep and then a break uh, as far as reset. You can definitely hear that. You can feel that pretty well. Yeah, I think that's great. For a gun of this size, this is not obviously meant to be a tack driving bullseye machine. That's not what's designed for. This thing is designed for concealed carry, for fast, accurate, re repeatable shots on a target. And uh, I think that trigger not only does that job, but it does that job very, very well. I like the flat face. You don't see that often in a stock trigger. The flat face for me, number one, it doesn't dig into my fingers. Sometimes there are other manufacturers which those triggers will dig into my fingers. This one feels really good. Now let's talk about shooting this thing at the range. Um, now, it's a micro compact gun. It's got a three inch barrel. It's shooting a nine mil. It's got some recoil. I don't think there's any way around that. You kind of go into a firearm like this expecting that, but it's not unmanageable by any means. It took me a little bit to sort of get my bearings with this, but once you do get your bearings with this, um, it's a fantastic shooting gun. So I put a bunch of rounds into a steel silhouette. And then at the end, I did just kind of a quick and dirty accuracy test where I, I think I was at like 10 yards or something. Not Far. I did five rounds sort of taking my time trying to get a pretty decent group and then I did five rounds shooting about as fast as I could controllably shoot and uh, you know for the most part I'm happy with both of those groups in terms of a critical situation or something like that I mean they're obviously well within a critical mass zone so uh, yeah man First looks, first take on this thing. I think it's fantastic. We didn't talk about the best part and that is the budget. You know, Taurus has always sort of been king of, of that budget firearm and this thing is no different. It's coming in at under $400 MSRP. I think MSRP is 392 or something like that. So you're already in the 300s. Uh, hopefully, you know, if, if prices go down from COVID and all that, you'll be able to find this even a little bit lower than that. And uh, for that price range, this thing is insane. It's such an awesome stellar deal for that price point. And finally, it's always a little bit questionable getting into a brand new firearm for concealed carry because you don't know if they're gonna have accessories for you, specifically holsters. But let me tell you with the new Taurus GX4, my homies over at Crossbreed Holsters have you covered. They've got an entire line of holsters all ready to go for the GX4. So uh, you're definitely covered there. If you do end up picking one up, make sure to use code GLS10 and save yourself 10% off any Crossbreed holster. That's all I've got for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I will catch you next time on Greenlight Shooting. Peace out.